Rome is a city filled with history, art, and delicious food. Whether you're a history buff, an art enthusiast, a foodie, or simply looking for a new adventure, Rome has something for everyone. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of five must-see attractions in the Eternal City. So grab your gelato and let's explore the best of Rome together. Visit the Colosseum. If you're looking for a piece of history that's both awe-inspiring and a little bit terrifying, then the Colosseum is the perfect destination for you. The ancient amphitheater is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Rome and for good reason. It was the site of countless gladiatorial battles, public executions, and other spectacles that were designed to entertain the masses. As you approach the Colosseum, you'll be struck by the sheer size of the structure. It's an enormous oval-shaped building that could hold up to 80,000 spectators. As you walk around the outside, you'll see the remnants of the original archways and columns, which give you a sense of grandeur of the place. But it's when you step inside that you really start to feel the weight of the history. The underground chambers where gladiators waited before their battles are still intact, as are the trapdoors and elevators that were used to transport animals and scenery onto the arena floor. As you walk around the perimeter, you'll see the areas where different classes of citizens would sit with the emperor's box at the very center. It's hard to imagine what it must have been like to attend an event at the Colosseum in ancient times. The noise, the smells, the bloodshed. It's all so far removed from our modern sensibilities, but there's no denying the power of the place. As you stand in the middle of the arena, you can almost hear the roar of the crowds and the clash of the swords. If you're planning a visit to the Colosseum, be sure to book your tickets in advance. The lines can be extremely long, and you don't want to spend your precious time in Rome waiting in line. There are a variety of different tours and experiences available. Depending on your interest, some tours will take you to the underground chambers, while others will focus on the architecture and engineering of the building. Explore the Vatican Museums. If you're a lover of art and history, the Vatican Museum should definitely be on your list of places to visit in Rome. The museums are home to some of the world's most impressive and iconic pieces of art, including works of Raphael, Caravaggio, and Leonardo da Vinci. One of the main draws of the Vatican Museum is the Sistine Chapel, which is famous for its stunning ceiling frescoes painted by Michelangelo. The chapel is a true piece of Renaissance art and is widely regarded as one of the greatest works of art in history. When you visit the chapel, be sure to look up and marvel at the intricate detailed frescoes on the ceiling. In addition to the Sistine Chapel, the Vatican Museums are also home to many other fascinating exhibits. You can wander through the Gallery of Maps, which features a series of stunning maps of Italy, or explore the Gallery of Tapestries, which showcases a collection of beautiful Flemish tapestries. The Vatican Museums also have a vast collection of ancient Greek and Roman sculptures as well as an impressive collection of Egyptian artifacts. To make the most of your visit to the Vatican Museum, it's best to book your tickets in advance. This will allow you to skip the queues and avoid the crowds, which can get very busy during peak tourist season. You can book tickets online or through a travel agent, and there are also guided tours available if you want to learn more about the history and significance of the exhibits. Overall, the Vatican Museums are a must visit for anyone interested in art, history, and culture. The sheer volume and quality of the exhibits on display is truly awe-inspiring and you'll likely leave feeling enriched and inspired by what you've seen. So don't miss out on the incredible opportunity to explore one of the greatest collections of art and artifacts. Wander through the historic district of Trastevere. Trastevere is one of the most charming neighborhoods in Rome and it's the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city center with its narrow winding streets and picturesque piazzas. Trastevere feels like a village within the city. It's the kind of place where you can wander aimlessly for hours, discovering hidden gems around every corner. As you walk through Trastevere, you'll notice that the architecture is different from other parts of the city. Many of the buildings are covered in ivy, and the colorful shutters on the windows add a touch of whimsy. The area is known for its street art, with many walls and alleyways covered in colorful murals. Trastevere is known for its nightlife. There are plenty of bars and cafes in the area, and the atmosphere is lively and fun. The Piazza Santa Maria in Trastevere is a popular spot for an evening drink, with its beautiful fountain and lively atmosphere. 
If you're looking for a unique shopping experience, head to the Sunday Market in the Piazza San Cosimato. Here you'll find everything from fresh produce to vintage clothing, and the prices are reasonable. It's the perfect place to escape the crowds and soak up some of the city's unique charm. Whether you're exploring the winding streets, enjoying a delicious meal, or just people watching in one of the piazzas, you're sure to fall in love with Trastevere, the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is one of the most iconic landmarks in Rome and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Designed in the Baroque style by Italian architect Nicola Salvi, it features a stunning statue of Neptune, the Roman god of the sea, riding a shell-shaped chariot pulled by two horses. Legend has it that if you throw a coin over your left shoulder into the fountain, you will ensure your return to Rome one day. It's a tradition that has been going on for centuries, and it's estimated that around 3,000 euros are thrown into the fountain every day. The money is collected every night and donated to Caritas, a Catholic charity that helps those in need. But the tradition of throwing coins into fountains goes back much further than the Trevi Fountain. In fact, the ancient Romans used to toss coins into fountains and other bodies of water as an offering to the gods. The practice continued through the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, and it eventually became a popular tourist tradition in the 20th century. When you visit the Trevi Fountain, you'll see that it's always crowded with tourists but that shouldn't deter you from visiting. In fact, the crowds can make the experience even more fun as you jostle for position and try to get the perfect throw. The water is a mesmerizing shade of blue-green, and the statue of Neptune is truly breathtaking. You'll also notice the intricate carvings and details of the fountain's design, including dolphins, tritons, and seashells. Indulge in Italian cuisine. One of the most popular Roman dishes is pizza al taglio, this is a style of pizza that is sold by the slice and is perfect for a quick snack on the go. The pizza is baked in rectangular trays and can be topped with a variety of ingredients, from classic tomato and mozzarella to more unusual toppings like zucchini flowers and anchovies. You'll find pizza al taglio shops all over the city, so be sure to try a few slices during your stay. Another must-try dish in Rome is pasta la carbonara. This dish is made with eggs, pancetta, pecorino romano cheese, and black pepper, and is a staple of Roman cuisine. The dish is simple, but incredibly satisfying, and is perfect for a hearty lunch or dinner. You'll find pasta la carbonara on the menu at most Roman trattorias, so be sure to give it a try. No trip to Rome is complete without indulging in some gelato. Italian gelato is famous all over the world, and for good reason. It's absolutely delicious. Gelato is made with milk, sugar, and various flavorings, and is churned at a slower speed than ice cream which gives it a denser, creamier texture. You'll find gelato shops all over Rome, and it's the perfect way to cool down on a hot summer day. If you're feeling adventurous, be sure to try some of Rome's more unusual dishes. One example is coda alla vaquinara, which is a stew made with oxtail, celery, and tomato sauce. Another is tripa alla romana, which is a dish made with tripe cooked in tomato sauce with pecorini cheese and mint. These dishes may not be for everyone, but they're certainly worth trying if you're into immersing yourself into the culture. And of course, no meal in Rome is complete without a glass of wine. Italy is known for its incredible wines, and Rome is no exception. You'll find a wide variety of wines on offer in restaurants and bars throughout the city, from crisp white wines to full-bodied reds. Be sure to ask your server for a recommendation, or even better, take a wine tasting tour to sample some of the city's best offerings. Rome is truly a city like no other, and we encourage you to visit and explore all that it has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar content. And if you have suggestions for future travel destinations or topics, please leave them in the comments below. For more inspiring travel videos, check out the video right here. Thanks again for watching.